Ricky, take us home. Take us home? Take us home. Oh, with my topic? Yeah. Right, we're doing something. Yeah. Um, Remember when I asked you what your topic was last week, and you're like, oh, what? I was so weirded out. I didn't know we were doing a show. Yeah, because you... How we used to record talking shit. There used to be three episode, three separate episodes each week, okay. but then it turned into a weekly podcast. Oh. So usually we would record one topic and then re, like reintroduce the show and all the stuff. So when I asked him what his topic was, not like reintroducing the show, he was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> so yeah, bring us home. What's your topic? Um, so my topic um is favorite like like which like fantasy world would you like to live in like whether it's like mm. star wars stuff harry potter stuff and mm. what would you be in that universe a hentai, mm. <laughs> a hentai. Like, a hentai what, virgin boy i like, was thinking about this yesterday <laughs> when i told you about when it. you I told me about saying. it and i was thinking like i have mine down I'll be a tentacle. i would actually want to be a witcher a like witcher? i think that would be fucking cool as shit that's a good one yeah that's the pretty fact cool. that I didn't immediately say Harry Potter tells me this isn't the real Baird, it's a synthenoid. <laughs> uh, my, the um, biggest one that I like that made me think of it is I would love to be a fucking bounty hunter in Star mm, Wars. Yes. Like, that's always like the epitome of he just like... He gets stuck as Dengar. <laughs> <laughs> my friends yeah. and I were making like back and forth jokes about Dengar in IG-88 when like Star Wars was relevant. <laughs> okay, I want you to imagine this. Den- Dengar in IG-88, Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how to... Okay. <laughs> Just oh my god. <laughs> Quick sidebar. That's fear. You guys know IG88 doesn't have opposable hands. It's just claws. How does he pull a trigger? Like this. Oh. He just throws the gun. I think I think it's just kind of like the guns are empty the whole time. It's just kind of like a thing where it's like oh, scared. You think he's gonna he he like that he's gonna shoot you, but then he turns his head and there's just a laser in there. <laughs> Ah, he's he's again. He's yeah. I understand like, the I understand the bounty hunter thing. It's just like fucking like just Boba Fett. Just, yeah, you'd probably get a he's cool the alien shit. and the android yeah. that have the same head. <laughs> um, the the reason I thought about this immediately and made me think of this topic is I was mm-hmm. watching the new season of Face Off because Tasia and her mom watch it. Okay, and the Face? first the first <laughs> the first project of like the new Said season Joker. was like make a bounty hunter like star wars type of bounty hunter uh. and some of the ideas were like like they came up with some pretty cool i put some tape on him so i was immediately like that would be fucking pretty sweet but yeah the other obvious one would be like harry potter hand fucking down hands down yeah i'd be a dementor right away (laughs) (laughs) i'd be a Uh, (laughs) bubble i guess like because I, mean, I was thinking about like what would I, I want to do in the wizarding brain. world and shit. <laughs> and to be mean? honest, like <laughs> I would love to work at like fucking Fred and George's like joke shop. That'd, That'd be helpful. That would be so fucking fun. Like oh, I no. hate retail, but that shit would be dope. I mean, Unless you're the employee one. that they test their you get there, on. it's just vans. Oh, I get it because the store is a joke. Oh shit! Sorry, district. Whatever we are. I don't even know what district I, we I are. hear there's a job opening anyway. Because, <laughs> you know, uh, he died. Fred and George. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> it took me a second. I was like, what were we talking about again? Henry, Henry's just like, I know they need. They have a new opening. Uh, <laughs> um, so, but yeah, yeah that would be an awesome one. That would be fucking It'd be dope. Hagrid. I'd be, <laughs> I mean, you would be Hagrid. I'm fucking fat as shit. I'm fat as shit, and I want those creatures, man. I work at I this work is at Hagrid's job. <laughs> I'd work at Azkaban and I'd get like sweet like healthcare from Azkaban <laughs> as a Dementor because we won't need any. But, I mean, to be honest, people. like if we were in the Wizarding World, what houses would we all be in? Uh, it always comes down to this. I go yep. to an art school, so that so there's nerds that talk about this like every all the time. Week. Yep, and I I tell them the same thing. I'd just be like, I'd uh, I'd be an Az- I'd be an Azkaban Dementor or. I'd be a death. All right, we're back. Sorry, we we had some. Um, we had a problem with a dingle. We had a problem with the dingle. Uh, just, the dingle uh, got loose. The the space <laughs> on the the thing that we film on uh, got uh, too small, so it automatically stopped recording. So we're back. So we were talking houses in well, in Harry Potter and right. yeah, uh, sidebar to what we were talking about. Um, if we all went to Hogwarts. Slytherin has that green. But here's the thing. Like, I'm talking, I'm thinking about like your personality. Like, I'm thinking based off of your personality, because that's sort of like what the sorting hat goes off of. Like who you are as a person. I think that's more I think that's more of what the other person should like. I can't say what house I'm gonna go in. Like you guys know what house I'd go in. Yeah, like I think you'd be what what's the do you know enough to what's the house 
that's near the kitchens. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. You would be in Hufflepuff. Why is everything surrounded that I'm fat? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're a little baby. Hufflepuff, they're, they're, like, they're dedicated people and they're dedicated learners and stuff. And Don't try to change this around. No, from the but seriously, thing. but they're also like <laughs> considered like sort of like the also a little lazy and not like really giving a shit. Yeah, because they're never really there. Also, <laughs> you. also because we know how much you love Twilight. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what were the traits for Ravenclaw again? Uh, were, smart. Yeah, they were like really, just really smart. smart. Just re- naturally smart. And, oh, they're, they're like and that's Asians why people were, yeah, people were pissed that, okay. like, you know, the one Asian girl is in uh, Ravenclaw. Or no, she was in Hufflepuff, I guess. I'll, I'll tell you this. There's, a, there's a Cards Against Humanity subject card that actually I relate directly to. It's Asians that can't do math. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ravenclaw's not um, math. So... Yeah, Ravenclaw is like all the smart people, and like there's been debates about like whether Hermione should or should not have been in Ravenclaw. Um, it's called plot convenience. For you, I would say Ravenclaw. Really? Um, yeah, you're Probably, fucking. You're yeah. a genius. Like you don't show it off because you like to show us the videos of Henry Rollins and fucking <laughs> Frozen. <laughs> hey, I like that yogurt. I put like, my finger in it. <laughs> like you're a genius, but you're also crazy as shit. Um, but you know, like, just, <laughs> <laughs> so I would put you in Ravenclaw. I would huh. put myself in Slytherin, um, because I like to Slytherin to your girl. <laughs> <laughs> just because of like, because Slytherin isn't about like a lot of people interpret it as like, oh, they're like the fucking assholes and all rich people and stuff. But no, no why like, would you have Slytherin an is actually house at your school for evil people? Yeah, yeah. exactly. It, Slytherin's all about like ambition for like sort like power and like greatness and like all Moving of this forward. stuff. Yeah, and uh, that's that's something I definitely categorize myself with. Like, I don't really picture Gryffindor like that. Like, what does Gryffindor like, stand for? Like, beyond this is where our heroes go. It, 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 <laughs> like, uh, just like boldness and being brave and sort of like got a big dick. Yeah, exactly. Am I thinking very Sue? Yeah, and so I never really like pick myself like under that like. Just because, like, yeah, I'll like have moments. I'll have moments where I'm like, I'll stick up for like whatever I believe in or whatever. But that's not like entirely me. Like, I, I think I categorize categorize myself more with Slytherin. Yeah, I'd probably have to do with that same boat too. Just because I don't really align myself. Well, maybe with Hufflepuff with a lazy shit, but. <laughs> Um, anyway, the original I'm the Raven, topic. I'm the Ravenclaw what? that like got really tired of it and snuck into Hufflepuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the the one other universe is that we would want to live in. Um, Pokemon. I don't know if I would want to live in Pokemon. I know I would because <laughs> you know what that means. I'm gonna get my own little Jigglypuff cola. <laughs> <laughs> I like I would always want to collect the badges that would be really cool but like I don't think I would ever be good enough to like train my Pokemon and actually beat a gym leader so I'd get really frustrated uh, with see, it with me and then I'd just like, be like one of those guys who just fish <laughs> and turn into that no, you want a battle who's like who's like this in the starter town and then you come to me at this side and you're like technology's really amazing <laughs> you can do so many new things with it <laughs> use potions to heal your Pokemon thanks you're you're the starter tip board. <laughs> but I would like to live in a universe where Nurse Joy is everywhere. Oh, you can, yeah. you can hold my Pokeball. I just want to be the old guy you go to to rename your Pokemon. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's cool as fuck. He's just walking around like this. Hmm. I love how old people in Pokemon look. Um, <laughs> but, like, well, see, why I would want to be in Pokemon is because I'm the guy who loves Pokemon so much. I've made a list of which Pokemons I'd want as pets. Also, my favorite Pokemon is Gengar. Mm. He's like, he's like I feel like Henry would be the guy who's like, hey, there's a Snorlax up ahead, and you ignore him, and then you go up, and you're like, fuck, there's a Snorlax here. I can't get past <laughs> it. Uh, yeah, we're, Henry, Henry, we're like, we're the two guards, and like, we're just turned like this, and then you approach us, and we're like, we're trying to get the Snorlax out. It may take a while. <laughs> and, then, and then, like, you come back after you beat. Like Rocket, uh, uh, Team Rocket, or yeah, whatever. Team Rocket, and you're like the Snorlax left, <laughs> and, and we're like on the side now, so you can get through. Then it was, um, oh, you first. Uh, Henry's like Ash Ketchum, but he's like, oh, I'm gonna pick you. yeah, he's like <laughs> awesome series Ash Ketchum. So he's like, you're gonna catch them all. We went to the zoo. We just, oh god, we saw the that's rip. a terrible idea. We went to the zoo with, like, we went Come to the zoo over. with Tasia and. We were like looking at the red panda 
And one of us. They have was a like, red panda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they have two in like a really nice. Because every cage. time I, we go to the fucking zoo, it's always like the worst. Like nothing is out. Because uh, every time I go, there's nothing out. We either. went and there like there was one bear. Because mm, uh, didn't <laughs> last time I went, I think was with you when we like went with you, Teddy, Teddy, Rasan, Rasan. Did Vinny come with us too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was Vinny. Vinny that was really smoke. weird. That was like a weird group of people to be yeah, going to a We didn't even with. smoke beforehand. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> like, just like hey, up. let's all go to this thing. But it was funny. We ran into Teddy on the way. We saw a red panda, and you just, and one of us goes, that looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go, we just come back, and like, Ash kept, someone dressed up as Ash kept, and they're just going, go to catch a wall! <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat of a sidebar, this could go into like, which are, fi- like, which Pokemon is our favorite, but. Living in a Pokemon world, wouldn't you ever be worried of, like, your Pokemon gaining sentience and, like, just, like, you can't be in a ball this whole time, motherfucker? No, because the, bo- because the qualities of the Pokeball shows that it gains friendship from being captured. Oh, okay. Mm. I've never had Once that Once you really get into the physics of the Pokeball. <laughs> and if you, if you really thought about the this. board that we have. <laughs> <laughs> the submissiveness chip is installed here. Well, it's because my favorite is Metagross. Or Metagross. Uh, and, yeah. like, it's all the Pokedex entries are always, like... It's like smarter than a supercomputer. So I'm like, what if it tries to kill me? One yeah, day? like you can keep Alakazam in a ball and he has the intelli- intelligence of 3,500 3, IQ. Damn. Though actually, when you think about it, going back, why he, he got two spoons? He was writing, the person who was writing the Pokedex was your character going around. So it was a 10 year old writing these explanations of like, man, he's so smart. Like, <laughs> oh, chance it's just a chicken. <laughs> My favorite Pokemon is Gardevoir, so I can fuck Pokemon girls. <laughs> What's under that dress? Um, man, technology's amazing. You can totally fuck robots now. I See would want to, I would. No, I wouldn't. I was about to say I would want to live in the world of Legend of Zelda, but I'm like, no. Because shit always gets nah, fucked up everywhere. Yeah, yeah, you, have to stay in one, you have to stay in one town, go in a circle, and then when Link comes up, you go like this. <laughs> um, so you can live with the Majora's mood? Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of other ones. I don't think I can think of anyone. Uh, Mario. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be Hell awful. no. <laughs> I'm a Goomba just trying to get through, and this asshole plumber steps on me? <laughs> Fuck that. Then I go pop. Uh, based, based off of Star Wars, though, um, I do want to be a pilot. I'd yeah, always, I always cool. have a soft spot for like the Rebel pilots, man. Not so I'd much be a smuggler. Troops. Mm. I smuggler like it would be cool. I could pilot your ship, but A wings are always my. And like, Ricky favorite. is my Chewbacca. <laughs> Jedi is too much pressure. Like well, well, Jedi is. I don't wear the mask. Oh, oh, imagine being like a force sensitive smuggler, and how cool that would. You're be. just like I'm not a Jedi or a Sith. I'm not a Jedi. What the, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> With the beard, it's just like. In. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Give me all your credits. Are you trying to smoke a bro- bowl, bro? <laughs> Chew- Chewy, we're home. <laughs> oh, but, man, uh, that thing's terrifying. Do I get to put it on now? But as, like, you're right. It's too much pressure as a Jedi because it's like, yeah, you get to you're have like a laser in that. You, yeah, you, you got it. You get you're to have literally a like the sword. center of the fucking universe. I don't want to like, be uh, like the front lines for most of that shit. You get I don't to have, be a stormtrooper because I'm gonna die. <laughs> you get to have a laser sword, but you can't have sex. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather be a bounty Plus, hunter and just Sam, steal one later on. Hopefully, I get lucky. Yeah, I would rather be able to like bang hot alien babes. Oh, and then that's the real one. Star Trek universe. Are there that many hop alien babes in Star Trek? Yes. Uh, Not enough for me to want to be in that. (laughs) (laughs) Not enough for me to want to deal with Kirk's bullshit. (laughs) I just found my ultimate one and like goes over the Star Wars bounty hunter one. Mm. If I could be an agent for the agency in Hellboy. Oh, Oh. that'd be PRD? Yeah. Yeah. If I could be Lobster Johnson. That'd be fucking awesome. If I could Mm. be Lobster Johnson. Like, not even like Hellboy or. Or any or like Abe or anything. I just want to be an Asian. Yeah, it's good to know about. It, it sort of sounded like you said Asian. Like I would just want to be an Asian. I just really yeah, want to be. Yeah, it's overrated. Like if I can be in the universe of like being really smart. Like, There's social know. expectations if, that are put on you. See, I would love to be in the X Men universe, but here's the thing: I'd either be the civilian, or I'm like. I'm the one who like just comes Hates out the, the X Men, but weirdly likes the Avengers. That's the other thing. Thank you, Captain America. Cyclops, you suck. Well, Cyclops just sucks anyway. That's another thing with like X Men universe. There's so much pressure. Yeah. <laughs> also, I'm the shit. I'm. I, we've already established I'm just shitty mutant where my mutant power is I can lick my elbow. <laughs> uh, what's your power? I rash easily. <laughs> <laughs> what's your power? I get bad gas. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, I think that's it. Like, there's not many places I would actually like want to live in. What about places you wouldn't want to live in? Wouldn't want to live in. I, I already know one, and as much as I love the game Bloodborne, because it's already. Oh, fuck that. I don't even understand. Like, we were we did a full Let's Play series uh -huh. uh, like week. <laughs> How, how'd you like that, by the way? I uh, I think it's a I lot was of fun. I was getting into it I once I learned that game. you. <laughs> Like once I learned that there's a quick attack for because I was playing like two oh, whole days though, yeah. like just with the strong attack. And oh then I, no! Yeah, uh, and so once I got into I that, I was like, hell. "Yeah, uh, I, I, I started I, to like it a lot." We made no progress in that let's play week though. <laughs> it's um, hard. So but yeah, I don't understand it because it's like, "Hey, this is the night where we all like kill each other." Okay, it's like, what like, the fuck is going a, on? You, with, like minimal spoilers. You want to know what the overarching story of that is? What Lovecraft? Church is bad. They like Lovecraft. Don't mix blood. That's it. But that is why I never want oh, it. Yeah, totally. It's actually like a super racist, like Nazi propaganda piece. Like, don't mix blood, don't mix the racist. Oh, yeah. Um, um, uh, I was. I just thought of one. Lord of the Rings would not be a fun universe. To Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Just constantly. All we're gonna do is walk around. The <laughs> only thing that'd be fun is if you were a Hobbit and you lived in the Shire. Yeah. Because then it's just like I got one. What? Uh, last Airbender universe. Oh, oh that would be, that would be awesome. What yeah. better would you be? Earthbender, because of that green sun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, to, I would actually want to do be an Airbender. I would like that. That'd, that'd be, that'd be, be skinny. Cool. You can do it. Their <laughs> question is: like, Airbenders yeah. are vegetarians, though. I don't want to be. A vegetarian. See, I have... how I always looked at it was that like each of the vendors, you have to think about like what your personal style of like fighting is, mm. because when you look at it, they're all actually. All of the like bending moves are different forms of martial arts. Of martial yeah. arts. Yeah. So it's like, do you have the grace of a water bender or no. like the pure Ag aggression of like a fire bender? I'm lanky as shit, but I don't want to be a pacifist airbender. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be an earthbender also because like with the Metal earth, you have control of it. Mm. Plus, if you get to be as good as Toph. You get power of metal bending. Maybe also, the there's the yeah, there's the magma like Which lava bending sick. on the other side. Another universe I was actually thinking about that I would want to live in, Futurama. That'd be cool. Yeah, I would really like, just because of, like, uh, just the craziness of, like, how it reflects our society, but it's, like, in one big universe yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Can would... you imagine if there was, like, a Futurama MMO? <laughs> oh, my that'd be God. Awesome. I would, that would be the one MMO I would ever play. Can and, be that's pretty cool. and also, like, just, like, being able to travel so fast to other planets. Yeah. Because... Nothing can move faster than the speed of light. Exactly. Which is why we increase the speed of light. <laughs> um, do you want to count down for the moon? Okay. Five, four, three. Okay, we're, we're there. Here. Uh, <laughs> actually, in Futurama, I already know who I'd be. I'd be Roberto. Straight up. Mm. Hello! Never <laughs> stab anybody with a sword. Ready for a stab? <laughs> shout, <laughs> shout out to our boy, Quentin Berenger, who Love loves him, that yeah. show, loves that character, but also made our logo. I, yeah. I, I always forget to like shout him out and be like, yeah, he, he made our logo. But yeah. yeah, another shout out to him. He's on our Mario Maker Let's Play. You should go watch that. By the way, you man, should watch it if you don't mind guy. bad sound quality. Mm. I know a guy. You know a guy? I know a guy. Is For it what? you? It's like all like, yeah. <laughs> like drugs and shit. <laughs> I know a guy, man. Yeah, I'm looking to get some artwork done. Oh, yeah, we got heroin. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He, he starts sticking his dick out. What is going on? I'm going to draw you gotta on reach. your ass, bitch. <laughs> um, you want the perk to set, you got to Oh, yeah, <laughs> two universes that I wouldn't want to be in is Skyrim and Fallout. Oh, I was actually thinking, I would actually not mind being in uh, the Fallout. Uh, you don't no. have to show emotion. <laughs> well, well, the secret of Fallout, but only the only until you get into Fallout Four. That's actually when you show a little no, bit of emotion. The secret yeah. is that with all of them, with everything, you have to think: Am I going to be the one person I want to be, or am I going to be the person who's stuck in the vault the entire game? Yeah, stays there. And you, they only talk when you come up to them and ask them a question. <laughs> it's a, it's, I call it the zombie principle, where everyone always thinks in a zombie apocalypse, they're going to be Bruce Campbell. Yeah. But oh, in reality, yeah. they're a fucking zombie. <laughs> no boomstick for you. No uh, boomstick. Um, what, uh, what else was I thinking of? Well, for... for the Fallout one, I also thought trying to think of you would specific. never be judged for not showering. That'd exactly. Exactly. DC Universe would be a lot better than Marvel Universe. To no, like they both suck. I'm well, like, yeah. I would not want to live in either of them. Just because whatever major city you live in, it's, it's going to be gonna destroyed. It's going to be a fucked at one time, point. 
But at the same time, if you ever trip, Superman will be there. <laughs> Unless Mary Jane needs a date or something. Um, that's the wrong universe. <laughs> um, oh, actually, I'd the... love to live in Akira. <laughs> no. Oh, I just had him uh, watch that for the first time. I just, or like both it. of you, right? He was cool. high when we watched it. That was a mistake. <laughs> I loved it. What are you talking about? Like, so, loved it. Uh, anyway. Um, Trump, Trump, Trump. Dun, 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 dun. I would want to live in a universe where we can actually physically play Rocket League. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, dude. Uh, so so it's like bets. death race, but fun. <laughs> we have blood bets. Mm, Imagine exactly. living in the world of the running man. Has any of you ever seen that movie? No. Arnold Schwarzenegger is like in a reality TV show where he has to kill people to survive. Yeah. Just I imagine. Have any of you played Smash TV? No. You're all mistakes. Because <laughs> um, Smash TV is the fucking best, and also it's one of Mike Patton's favorite games. Um, I wouldn't want to live in a Mad Max universe, uh, yeah, I was just about I, that. I was about to say, I want to, if I were to live in Mad Max, I'd want to be a resource monger. <laughs> I'd be a war boy, but I'd be one of the war boys who that, never like, gets That, like, pushes out and then, like, falls in love and sacrifices himself. I'd be a milk mother. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, if you've never been here before, again, this is Talking Shit, a weekly podcast where we all bring in random topics of discussion and we talk some shit about those topics. If you want, if you like that and you think that's cool and you want to get that early, head on over to patreon.com slash bzg. Throw Give us, us a dollar. Just one dollar. <laughs> one dollar a month. You get every episode early. And only a day. dollar. Only one dollar for four episodes. And then you get an exclusive episode. So you get five episodes, Ooh, four of them early. And then one exclusive. Day you can right. the starving orphan. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I was about to say, we're Sarah wow. McLaughlin. <laughs> And uh, right here. so, and uh, if that if you don't want to support us, if you don't want to give us any money. That's totally okay. You can head on over to YouTube.com. It's cheaper than a can of Vienna sausage. YouTube.com <laughs> slash Bayzona Gamers. We're talking shit. Still rolls out Monday through Thursday, topic by topic, and all that good stuff. But if you still want a podcast like format, uh, the talking shit podcast, like the the non exclusive episodes, will go live for everybody that Friday. So early access on Saturday. And then each topic by itself, Monday through Thursday, and then the full podcast episode available for everybody that Friday. So there you go. Oh, Guys, nice. Ricky, Henry, thank you for being here as usual as you should be. Yeah. Max, thank you for, uh, for hitting me up. Yeah, man. You're like, hey, I want to be on the show. I was like, that's surprising. <laughs> no one wants to be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you mentioned it, and it was just like, and I watched and I listened to a couple episodes and I was like, cynical nerds, I'm down. <laughs> well, feel free are. to come back if you ever want to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we, um, I'll let you guys know. Come back to the Pleasure Dome. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Because think... the mouth is up here. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is this? <laughs> it's like you have two mouths. Is it, my second one is like in my neck, sort You're of crease. Just oh. on rocks. <laughs> hey! Now, Max, um, are you on the internet at all? Do you do the tweets or anything? Uh, do you no post Twitter porn? yet. No Twitter yet. Uh, uh, just, do you want to? Do you want Facebook, Instagram? Um, I can. Do you want we'll to? What, what's your? Do you want to shout out your PSN? Do you want to do that? Or? Yeah, sure. It's uh, Lobster Johnson. Yes. Lobster spelled A L A W. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll spell it out. We'll spell it right out there. That, that will be the shout out that we give you. Uh, oh, ha- add you. him on PSN and uh, watch him play. I don't know. What do you play a lot? Uh, mostly Bloodborne. Bloodborne, yeah, you play a lot like of Bloodborne. Like but not. <laughs> you want to see somebody do like a dungeon run through and not die <laughs> as often. Yeah, exactly. There you go. There you go. And uh, yeah, thank you so much uh, for being here no to get you guys. Um, we'll see you all next week. And until then, keep talking shit. Thank you.